So there's a lot of spot cleaners out on the market, but there's not that many cordless editions. So Bissell has come out with a little green cordless, which is different from their little green machine that you see right here. And it's different from the other Bissell spot cleaners. It is actually gonna be a huge improvement over something like this, which is their pet stain eraser. And this was one of those smaller units that had limited battery life, but really had limited tank sizes. So you have some improvements there on your cordless, and then we're gonna compare it to none other than another cordless from Hoover, which is using the external battery packs. And this is gonna be the Hoover One Power Cordless Go. There's no cords here. How was I supposed to clean it? Well, I had a cordless. This all. So if you take a closer look at your Bissell here and you're looking all around it, you notice that it has a very updated design. It's also very light. You have the power buttons are gonna be on top and they're physical as well as the handle well can even fit two hands versus being a little tight on some of the other uh, Bissells out there, except for the Hydra Steam. So the Hydra Steam is a new one. They also made the handles much bigger on the Hydra Steam, just like they did on these updated Bissell Little Green Cordless. Now, the new design language is gonna be that the cord is wrapping around the base, and these are gonna now be taller than they are wider. So that's another key difference. If you're looking at the Bissells, they've updated their design. So previous editions were <laughs> like the Spot Clean Pro and the Spot Cleans, had a wrap around. This is gonna have the largest tank. This is a 96 ounce uh, dirty water tank. You have the largest clean water tank out of the bunch here. But again, this is running on power. So you have to plug it in. It is not cordless and it is the heaviest. If you have water in here, this could weigh close to about 23 pounds. So collectively, if you're just judging it by weight, I would say the cordless is definitely gonna be the lightest. It will even rival the light weight of the Bissell Pet Stainer Eraser. So even this, you'll find that this uh, cordless is gonna be easier to maneuver and handle than your Pet Stain Eraser because the Pet Stain Eraser, it's a lot of stuff that's gonna be in the front. So it was a little bit weighted. So it's not as easy to handle as you would think compared to your cordless edition. So you can see Bissell's progression over the years and the maturation of these spot cleaners. So originally cordless, because they couldn't get the battery small enough, they couldn't get it light enough, this was the pet stain eraser. And this one for the time was the best available. And then they went updated to something like the pet stain eraser, which is still relatively, it looks like a uh, cuttlefish, I mean, it has a cuttlefish design, but it wasn't the best, again, not for cleaning because the suction power was lacking and the tanks are small. So would I ever, ever you try to get these over something like one of these? Probably not because having those two tank systems and set up in this configuration means you just have a larger motor and more suction power. So very simple in terms of the overall build construction. I think this works very well relative to its peers. All of the larger Bissells will outperform the Bissell Little Green Coreless specifically because they can be on max mode for longer and they use cords so they can have larger uh, motors because the battery here is gonna take space and that means there's less space for a larger motor. Now, for comparison, this is the brush for the Bissell Little Green Hydra Steam and this is a brush for the Coreless. So you can see that there is a small design language change in these new brushes from Bissell. Since the Bissell Little Green Cordless does not require any cords, this is how awesome it is to use. So you have your cord and you can see how easy it is to manage. I can just flop this around. And then when I'm done with it, it's also very easy. I just have to spin it around on the bottom and it will securely lock right back into place. So that's how you handle your Bissell Little Green Cordless. So let's put our Bissell Little Green Cordless to the test. So this is about 96 ounces of water. We have some solution here. I'm gonna take out the clean water tank. So we just pull up. You have to open it, pop that open, pour in the water. So if you fill it up to this point, that line, that's 24 ounces, 24 ounces. So let's fill up the remaining.
with soap. There we go. Stain number one. All you got to do is pop it out. Turn it on. Spray is going to activate. Let the solution do its work. You can see the action. So now it's all about just extracting what you added. So I'm not adding, I'm not using the trigger. Removing the soap. And voila, it does produce a little bit of heat though. So you have to keep in mind, it's not going to be hot, but it does produce some heat. So you will feel it if you're using this in like a hot room, like a hot car, and you keep the doors all closed without any windows, you will feel the heat here. But you can see that it has completely removed our mayonnaise out. And everything looks good to me here. And it worked. You can also see the mayonnaise inside of here. You're gonna take this to the bathroom and throw it out. You know, this part. I recommend just taking this and making sure you keep it two hands on it because the lid is very easy to pop off. Very easy to pop off. And voila, I mean, the Vista Little Greed Coreless does work and that's why I like it and the battery life is good. You know, most of these machines, the battery life, it's not gonna be good. This one actually, you can keep it on max and I'm not saying you wanna run in max all the time, but if you have it on max, which is generally what we wanna do, if you have a difficult to see, I tried it up to 20 minutes on an entire sofa. It ran out of juice just at the end. But that was about 20 minutes on max. And I did an entire sofa with it. And if you compare it something to like the Hoover, the Hoover is really underpowered, right? Because if you put them side by side, they're about the same thickness. But in terms of width, you just get much more uh, clean water, dirty water solution here. Because this is the entire clean water tank on a Hoover. This would have not been enough to have picked up that stain. You would have to have refilled it. So that's just what I mean. And also suction power here is not as good as on the Bissell. The Bissell is about 30 volts total, like 29.7. It's 20 volts on your Hoover. Now this is the granddaddy. If you want more performance and you want to do something bigger and you don't want to constantly refill the tank, the Little Green uh, Pro, the Spot Clean Pro, these models, Spot Clean Pro Pet, these models have the largest dirty water tanks and 96 ounces. So it's way bigger than this. It is also the most powerful relative to the other Bissells out there. And it's gonna be the most industrial, it, you know, everything is a bit more reinforced. If you're looking for this, it's because you don't wanna deal with the size of this anymore. That's the proposition, is that, okay, you know, I, I know this is great. I know that the cord is good, it's durable, but I don't wanna deal with carrying this around. Maybe I wanna take something lighter that's a close substitute and I only need to use it in small pieces and areas, then this could be a really solid option. And this is the newest relative to the others. Here is your Bissell Little Green Hydrocene Pet. And even here, you can see that the design language has been updated on Bissell, they like these new cleaner colorways. They like this new opaque type of plastic to make it look cleaner. They have updated the dials. Everything's a little bit more premium, but and you can see this in terms of the backs. However, in our opinion, the Bissell Little Green Hydra Steam Pet will have the best performance for organic stains, for anything that requires heat. And it works best with soap because most of our soap is actually engineered to be used with heat. So let's test the little green cordless in the real world. And I'm going to just use it in my storage locker, which I had no access to any plugs. So what do I do? I just bring it out. Now I have to rinse and wash an entire sofa because we're going to be selling it. So watch me go through the entire process. I'm just going to be using this single machine and I'll show you the final product at the end. 
And there's no cords here. Watch this. The process of washing anything is relatively simple. What it is is just basically like a laundry machine. You're going to be adding soap and water to your sofa. So you're going to go through the entire process. Now, the other important part of this is going to be the rinsing because just because you're like, oh yeah, I did it one time. Well, it's going to leave a soapy residue because you just lathered without rinsing. So here you're just seeing me utilizing the machine. You can see that the suction power is actually similar to a Bissell Little Green. It's not going to be as powerful, but I swear, you know, you will be surprised and shocked how powerful this machine is. Now, it is enough to do the entire sofa. And right now I have it on power level two. And there we go. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like and then I'll show you what it looks like after I dry it. So I'm gonna come back and rinse the sofa with water only, but guess what? I knocked over the tank and it's so easy to do, but I can use the Bissell Little Green cordless with that suction power to just suck all the water back into the tank and then take that dirty water back and throw it out. So that was my entire goal here. Now it's gonna be one, two, three every pass just basically takes all the water off the floor when we turn it off and here we go so this one's on me i did it again but i wished it was a lock because it shouldn't happen all the time all right so let's see how dirty the water tank is and you can see that it actually did a pretty good job it did a good job extracting a lot of the debris and dirt So here are the results and it came out just like I would use a Bissell Little Green, which is exactly why that's important because the cordless work just like the real thing. But if you look at in the entire collection of spot cleaners that I have, I've tried them all and I got to tell you guys, I'm telling you, for the cordless editions, I have been never been more impressed with the Bissell Little Green cordless. It is not going to beat these. It's not going to beat the Bissells. And I would not buy the Bissell Little Green cordless for $200. I think if you can get this maybe collectively 130, that's actually a not a bad price because you have to imagine the Bissell Little Green now, when it's not on sale, is about $100. You have the Bissell Little Green Pro. Um, this is going to be around like $140, $160, depending on the time of year. You know, the Bissell Little Green Hydrasteam Pet, you're looking at about $200. So you don't want to pay as much as this because this is the best one. You don't want to pay as much as that. Ideally, you want to score for about 130, maybe 140. Now, once it drops to about 100, this is an all systems go type of machine. You should be checking it out because it does work well and it's cordless and there's not many cordless editions out there. And with that, thanks for watching everybody. This is Dave with The French Glow. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below and we will get back to you. And please hit that like and subscribe button because it really does help support our channel. And I'll catch you next time. Bye, bye, bye.